All right, we're going to be doing our Tai Chi class this morning. So we're going to start off with our usual uh, warm up. I want you to make sure that your feet are parallel, pointing straight ahead, and that they're about hip width apart. From here, you're going to bend your knees just a little bit, sink into your hips just a little bit, almost like you're starting to sit on the edge of a stool, but just very slight. And then from here, reach up through the crown of your head towards the sky and reach out actively with your hands to either side. Beautiful. From here, we're just going to take a couple deep breaths and check in with our body for this morning. You can close your eyes or just soften your gaze, whatever's better for you. And just take a moment to assess. Do you have any tight spots, any places that are sore or tender today that you might need to give a little extra attention to? And as always, if there's any spots that need a little extra attention, you can modify any movement to take care of those spots. From here, we're gonna start just slowly working through our body, starting with our feet. Take your toes and squunch them up, whether you're barefoot or wearing shoes, either way, just squunch them up nice and tight and then relax everything. Moving up to your calves, squeeze everything in and then relax. Up through your thighs and glutes, squeeze everything in and relax. Now up into your core, kind of clench your belly in and then relax. Up into your shoulders and down your arms, squeeze everything, make fists with your hands, pull those shoulders up and in and then relax. And then up into your head and neck and jaw, squunch everything in, squeeze your eyes, your jaw your neck, and then relax everything down. From here, we're just gonna start a little gentle movement. We're gonna start with turning our head side to side as we breathe in. Take a nice deep breath in and turn your head to the left. And then as you exhale, come back to center. And then to the right. And back to center. Left. And center, right, and center. And one more to either side, left, and center, and right, and center. From here, we're gonna move up and down. So as you breathe in, your chin goes up. And as you breathe out, it goes down and up. And down. And up. And down. Bring your head back to neutral. From here, we're gonna just gently bring some movement into our fingers, wiggling them first, and then shaking our hands. And then a little more vigorously, bring that motion that energy up through your arms all the way up to your shoulders and really wiggle everything out let those come back to stillness and then we're going to do one foot starting with wiggling the toes and then just shaking at the ankle and then moving up shaking loose at the knee maybe even at the hip just bring some movement in and then put that foot down move to the other side starting with your toes and then through your ankle, your knee, maybe your hip. One more good shake and then put it down. From here, we're gonna move into our torso, bringing a little energy through the center of our body. We're gonna ring the gong, starting with just gentle taps at your hip level, turning and swinging your arms, letting them pat, your hands pat against your body. And then moving up as you breathe in, up to the top of your ribs, and then back down as you breathe out. And up. And down. And one more, up. And down. Beautiful. From here, we're just gonna come back to that balanced posture, check in. 
Make sure your knees are still soft. Make sure your hips are still soft. Reach out actively through your fingertips and up nice and strong through the crown of your head, reaching up towards the sky. And then from here, we're ready to begin our practice. We're gonna start with opening the door. So floating our hands up as we breathe in and then down as we breathe out. And up and down and up and down, up and down, and one more, up and down. Moving into wings of a bird, this time lifting your arms out to the side, floating them up and down, letting your breath follow your movement, your movement follow your breath. Breathing in as you go up and out as you go down. And one more. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna bring our hands up and press our palms together in the center of our body, moving into praying hands. So for this one, you're just pushing your hands straight up, keeping that light pressure the whole time and then bringing them back down watching your hands as you go, breathing in as you go up and out as you go down and up and down, up and down and one more, up and down. From here, moving into Embrace the Moon. This time, we're gonna bring our hands out, opening nice and wide like we're ready for a big hug, and then circling around like you're holding a giant ball, curling your body around it. Breathing in as you open, and out as you close. Switching hands, which hand is on top each time. Open, and close. Open and close. One more on each side. Open and close. The last one. Open and close. From here, breathe your hands into the center of your chest. And we're going to move into a new posture. Rooster stands on one leg. So holding your hands like you're, like you're cupping a small ball at the center of your chest. From here, you're going to shift your weight over to the side and lift your left knee. And as you do, your left hand comes up and your right hand comes down to your hip. As you exhale, everything comes back to center and then switch to the other side. Beautiful. Breathing in and out. And in and out and in and out in and out. Last one on each side in and out in and out. Take a moment here. Float your hands down by your sides and grab some water. Check in with all of your different body parts. Make sure everything's still feeling great. All right, bringing it back in. Making sure you're still in that good Tai Chi posture. Feet straight ahead, knees soft, hips soft. And you wanna make sure you're keeping your hips and your shoulders in line. From here, we're gonna move into our weight shifting. So we're gonna shift our weight over to our left leg, turn our right toes out, keeping shoulder and hip in a line, and then just come back to center. Moving to the other side, just slowly and gently working through your range of motion, waking up your hips and your knees, 
practicing keeping the center of your body pointing the same way as your eyes. So everything from your hips up is staying in a straight line. Beautiful, one more to each side. And then back to center. From here, we're gonna move into hands wave like clouds. You're gonna float your hands up to the center of your body and you're gonna have one up in front of your face, the other in front of your belly, almost like you're holding a baby. And then from here, you're gonna do that weight shifting thing, starting moving your elbow towards your left. So you're shifting your weight to your right, your foot turns to the left. As you get to the edge of your range of motion, your hands switch places and you go to the other side. Letting your breath follow your motion. Slow and gentle, just shifting from side to side, like you're trailing your fingertips through a cloud. Nice and easy. One more to each side. And then coming back to center, floating your hands up to the center of your chest. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. From here, we're gonna move into pierce the clouds. We're gonna take a bow step, stepping out with our left foot, going heel to toe, pressing forward like our hands are an arrow piercing the clouds. And then as we rock back, swimming our hands back to our hips, breathing in and out. As you rock forward and then back. Forward and back, forward, and back. And last one, forward, and back. Stepping that foot in, one expansion and contraction. And then moving to the other side. So stepping out with the right foot this time, piercing the clouds, and then rocking back. Hands to your hips, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And one more, forward and back. Stepping back to your center, expand and contract, expand, and contract, expand, and contract. Moving from here into push the mountain, stepping out with your left foot again, heel to toe. This time you're pushing forward from your center and then pulling back like you're coming up over the top of the mountain. Rocking forward and pushing, pulling back, retracting your weight from that front foot. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And one more, forward and back. Stepping into center, expand and contract. And then stepping out with the right foot this time, push the mountain on the other side, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, and last one, forward and back. Stepping into center, expand, 
then contract, expand, and contract, expand, and contract. From here, we're gonna move into rotate the wheel. We're gonna start at the bottom. Our hands are gonna float down by our hips. We're gonna pretend we're grasping a giant wheel and rotating it around like a big water wheel. Breathing in as we go through the top of the circle and out as we come around the bottom. In and out. In and out. And one more in and out. Breathe your hands up to the center of your chest. Expand and contract. And then float your hands back down. We're gonna go the other way. So breathing in as you come up around the top and out as you come around the bottom. In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Last one. In and out. Float your hands up to the center of your chest. Three expansions. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. Moving from here into calming the waters. So you're making a big circle similar to what we just did, but this time it's coming out horizontal from your body. And you're breathing in as you go down and around and out as you come up on the other side. In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Last one. In and out. Floating your hands back up to your chest. One more in this posture. We're going to expand and contract three times. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. Still in our good Tai Chi stance, soft knees, soft hips. We're gonna float one hand up and one hand down for lumbering bear. Breathing in and out, letting your breath follow your movement. Pushing down with the bottom hand, like a bear lumbering through the forest. Beautiful. Two more here. And then breathe your hands back to center. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. And then you're going to float your hands down to your side. Pause for just a moment, check in, make sure everything's still feeling okay, and then go grab some water. All right, bring it back in. From here, we're gonna move into some of our more complex postures, starting with parting the wild horse's mane. So from here, we're gonna float our hands up 
like we're holding a ball, left hand on bottom. We're gonna tap our left toe in, in what we call an empty step. So you've shifted your weight to your right foot. Your left toe is touching the ground, but with no weight on it. Stepping out into that bow stance that we've done before, heel to toe, your hands come up and then circle around as you rock back. Hands come up and apart, circle back as you rock back on that back leg, shifting your weight forward and back. Beautiful, forward and back, letting your breath follow your movement, forward and back. And one more, forward and back. Stepping in, expand and contract. And then we're gonna hold the ball with the right hand on bottom, right toe tapped in. Stepping out from here, heel to toe, hands separate and then circle around as we rock back, forward and back, forward, and back, forward, and back, forward, and back, and one more, forward, and back. Stepping back to center, expand, and contract, expand, and contract, expand, and contract. And then we're gonna move on into grasping the sparrow's tail. It starts out similarly. You're gonna hold the ball, tap in your left toe, left hand on bottom. And this time, as you step out, heel to toe, Instead of it reaching out like we do for part of the wild horse's mane, we're gonna stop with our hand in closer. From here, you send that other hand up to meet it and then pull both hands down, stroking the tail of the bird. Then press forward, pull back, push forward, and then step back to start. We'll go through it again. Stepping forward, breathing in, send that hand up and then breathe out as you stroke the tail. Press forward, pull back, push forward and step back to start. And again, stepping out, breathing in, and then out, in, and out, in, and out. One more time on this side, in, and out, in, and out. In and out. Come to center, one expansion and contraction. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Hold the ball, tap that toe in with the right foot in and the right hand on bottom. Breathing in as you step forward. Send that other hand up to meet it. Breathing out as you pull it through, in as you push your hands forward, out as you pull back, in as you push, and out as you step back to start. Again, stepping forward, breathing in, send that hand up to meet it, pull through, press forward, Pull back, push forward, step back to start. And again, stepping forward, 
pulling through, pressing forward, pulling back, push forward. Step back to starting. One more. Breathing in and out and in and out and in and out. Coming back to center, expand and contract, expand and contract, expand and contract. Our last one for today, we're gonna go through the temple at dawn. For this posture, make sure you're still in that good Tai Chi stance, soft hips, soft knees, toes facing forward. You're gonna keep this centered stance the whole time. You start off with breathing your hands up and then exhale as you pull them in towards your chest. Push forward as you breathe in again. And then as you breathe out, open your arms wide. And then as you breathe in, you're gonna bring them down and then up through the center, backs of the hands together, and then out to float them back down. There's a lot of steps to this one. We'll go over it again. So arms come up, arms come into your chest, arms push forward, Open wide, sweep down and up, and then float down. Beautiful, again, breathing in and out, in and out, in and out. One more time, up, into your chest, pushing out, open wide, sweeping up, floating down. Beautiful, let your hands rest by your side, check in, make sure your everything feels good, and then go grab a sip of water. Beautiful. All right, coming back to that Tai Chi posture. It's time for us to finish our practice today. Soft knees, soft hips. From here, we're gonna close the door, floating our hands up and then in and down. Breathing in as the hands go up and out as they go down. Up and down. Up and down. And one more, up and down. Bringing your hands up to the center of your chest. We're gonna move into our circle breath. For this, I want you to let your hands follow your breath and fall back into your natural breathing cycle. So you may go faster or slower than I do, that's okay. You go at whatever pace is appropriate for you. Bringing your hands up as you inhale and down and around as you exhale back into your chest. Three more breaths here. And last one. Float your hands back down by your side and come back to that stance that we used to start class. Hands out, active, fingers extending down towards the earth, feeling your feet rooting down into the ground, reaching up through the crown of your head, maybe hearing the sounds around you, wind or birds, 
or roosters, as the case may be. Feeling the sun on your skin, especially if you're outside. Maybe the air in the room around you. Just tune in for a moment to your environment. As you're breathing in, let your breath come down behind your belly button and fill that space in your core. And imagine that as it's coming in, it's bringing with it a warm, bright energy. Each breath is bringing in more and more until you've filled that space behind your belly button and it spills over, rushing down into your legs, your feet, all the way out into your toes, coming up through your legs, all the way up to your waist, and then continuing to fill up your torso, your chest, all the way up to your shoulders and then spilling down your arms into your hands and your fingertips. Filling up through your neck, swirling around in your head, all the way up to the tippy top until your whole body is filled with that warm energy. Bright and joyful, preparing you to face the rest of your day. One more breath here. And then open your eyes and take that joyful energy with you through the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed the practice today and I'll see you next week.